That's my theory. Oh, shit, bro. Here. Right, it's morning. Not in my shop this morning. I'm headed to Robbie's. Call me, said my truck's all done, and I can come and get it. Free truck's gonna pay for itself. I'm driving that thing to Ephraim, me and Landon, and we'll pick my Duramax up and bring her home. So I'm excited. Go check this truck out. It'll look all brand new again. Take all the little dents out, the deer hit. Here we go. All right, Lando made her out, so away we go. We got a little hour later start than I wanted to because of the time change. We'll get there. Still get there. Alright, we're just rolling into Robbie's place. I'm excited. Look at that thing. No more deer dent landing. I know. Yeah. Now that's looking freaking brandy new. It's all shined up. Look at that. That is a good looking truck. Look at that. No dents, land. The doors look good. All right, we'll go find Robbie and uh, see what the heck. Look, I always have to work when you come in. Yeah, <laughs> see? That is I'm how it works. Camera boy today. All right, Robbie's gonna take us out and show us the ride. Let's go. Well, we already looked at it a little bit. Couldn't help it. So it's better than it's ever been yeah. since I've owned the truck. I love it. Thank you very much. Yeah, just keep it out of touch car washes for three months. Yeah. Nothing that slaps it. Okay. Landon okay. will be wax on, wax <laughs> off down to the shop. Wax on. It's all fixed, so yeah. thank you very much. We'll get on our way home and go back to work. Okay, sounds so, good. Thanks, thanks man. For Fire this up and uh, warm it up. We're out of here. Look at the inside. Holy cow. Oh. She's clean. Hopefully the internet didn't tell you. You boys detailed this thing. Appreciate Complimentary it. detail. Thank you okay. very much. Okay, well, start this up and we'll get out of here. The truck's sweet. She's better than it's ever been since I've had it. You guys wanna see this happen, you should jump over on Robbie's channel and check it out. He did an awesome job fixing my truck, so thank you. Hey, we're working in the new shop, so it's a little echoey in here because it's not full of stuff yet. We're gonna hang a heater up in here, try to get some heat in this joint. We've just got the old sun fire and it's a little noisy for filming, so we're gonna hang an oil burner furnace up. We'll get going at it. I got a bunch of junk to move and then we can get going and start hanging it up. I'll show you what we got. So today, this is the heater. It's our oil burner. It's gonna heat the entire shop once we get it up and duct work done. But today we're just gonna try to get it hanging right up there. So that's the game plan. We're gonna well or cut these in half, bolt them in there, set some two by four rectangle tube on the top of them, and then weld to that beam to hold it up. So it'd be pretty easy. If you wanna take those in and just cut them directly in half. Yep. Okay. That should do us. Sweet. You gonna judge me if it's one thread off? We'll see. Because it's probably close. <laughs> These ones are cut. Yeah. We'll grind them up. Now we get these mounts in. This heater noise you can hear running? Yep, that's why we're working on the heater today, so you guys don't have to deal with this noise anymore. Then we'll drill some holes in some tubing, set them down on here, mold it down tight, weld that, and then we'll clean the beam up and then weld it to it. Should be pretty easy install. Then we gotta put all of this stuff on it. All the blower motor and the burner and everything on it. There's that. 21 and a half. Okay. And then we want to come in three and a half inches. You guys are awesome. I think I've got like 40 of these now, so thank you guys. I won't run out of these ever. Lifetime supply currently. All right, in three inches. Three and a half inches, three right? Three and a half. And then, that's the first hole. Then 22 and a half from there, right? 21 and a half. That's what I said. Hole and hole and... Are we yeah. that good? Yeah. Are we that good to drill one side, flip it over? I think you are. It's not that, that hard. First I was only time you didn't doubt me. three and a half inches down, 21, as long as you don't that do may 20. That the first time you ever didn't doubt me. Well, it's not like done. It's not done yet. <laughs> I, like I told you that wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. Either you just want to see me fail, or... It, if it doesn't work, I told you, you really so. This could get rowdy with that bit. Okay. 
drill that one down. And then 22 and a half. 21 and a half. That's what I said. 21 and a half? Yes. <laughs> Listen, dude. It's 21 and a half. All right. So we've got three, well, two different measurements so far from center of this hole to center of that hole. I said it's 21 and a half, and then 22 and a half, and now I'm back to 21 and a half. Hunter, what do you say it is? 21 and three quarters. Sean? Who's paying the most? <laughs> right. I just want this to fit. 21, three quarters. Hunter from was right. Center of hole. Center to center. Hunter, it's your day. 21. Are you gonna like admit it? No, this like, is your day. What do you you should. You've never been right before. I know. So will you admit it? Like, no, you were right. <laughs> oh, I'll good. take two of you. Yes. So I need to move that a quarter. Yeah. Can we even handle Hunter being right? I don't think so. <laughs> We've got, they're drilled in two different direct, or spots here. One's at 22 and a half, one's at, no, one's at 21 and a half, and one's at 21 and three quarters. So we're gonna go see who's fits. Okay. Which one's which? This is, this is the winning one. Yeah. Who's ever fits, the other's buying drinks. Alrighty, we've got some mail from you viewers, which by the way, thank you guys. It's awesome that you take time, your money to send us stuff. So this is from Alan. It says, it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. <laughs> it's a hammer. That is cool. It's well used. Can tell that it has done its job. Somebody made that hammer. Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you for the hammer. We'll put it to use. We'll hit stuff with it. It's a baseball cap. Put that on your head right now. Where did that hammer go that we just got? I'm gonna hit him. Uh -uh. Let me see this. Does it work? Yeah. I made a little post about uh, how much I loved these little tape measures. And you guys answered in a big way. So, Christopher. Christopher sent us a tape measure. We're just gonna pile them right here for a second. Garth. Kenny, Jacob, got a gift for Mabes. Thomas, Steven, thank you guys, you are so awesome. This is, we've got tape measures for days now, so thank you. All right, I'm leaving Sean and Hunter to finish building some plates for that. I'll weld it in tomorrow. And these guys can stay and go to work. Since Paul left us, I have to have fun. What are, cool. we what are we doing? We're gonna go scare Sean with a firecracker. He's right at the corner. He's at the corner of the box on the left hand side. <laughs> Not exactly the most quiet. 
so we have to make some gussets for the heater to sit up. So I'm cutting out some squares. Oh wow. Yeah, they worked out well. See? Oh yeah. All right. We'll be good. All right, it's morning. Hunter and I are back at this. So they got it all rigged up and ready to go last night. I got to go up, measure over four foot, grind some stuff off, and then measure however far this is, grind some more stuff off, Get it all level and we can go to welding this thing up. 78 to 82 ish from the first one. Warm up here. Four foot tall area. It's freaking hot. All right, I said 78 to 82 ish. This may be fun to weld. Well, we'll figure it out. Well, that one ain't falling off of there for sure. Now we'll see if I can get to the other side and make it work. Come on over to the other side. You don't even know that song. You're a freaking pup, Hunter. Are you climbing all the way over? That's, that's my theory. All right. I think I can get over there and lay on it and weld. It's kind of what I'm... Fall towards the corner, your tires will catch you. The tires are your friends, right? Probably hurt. Transmissions will probably leave a mark. I'm gonna agree with you on that. All right. According to that, she's setting level right now. You got a, a crescent wrench? We're gonna level this hair pipe up a little. Leveling. Which is nice. Which is nice. All right. I'm going for it. Very smelly. Well, that level's inside the tire down there. It fell right in. Lots of old man noises going on up here. Yep. This is fun, Hunter. You should be up here. <laughs> Most fun I've had all day. Not to mention it's really hot up there. Okay. We can't get 
got. Couple more. She's done. We'll see how it works. I trust my welds. Yeah. They never killed me before. Why would they start now? Sure, this is OSHA approved here. This whole setup's probably OSHA approved. I think we can get this out of here. And then we got to unbolt. Maybe that pallet just comes off of there? What do you think? I bet we're gonna have to hit on it or hang on it. All right, so we're gonna put these they're gonna go from here up to the roof and tie everything together and then it'll be solid and should be built at that point. Then I just gotta set a tank down here. I don't have the tank currently. That's not gonna be bad, it's kinda of out of the way. It doesn't you know, affect anything, so. <coughs> did you like that precise calculation I just did? I did. That's good, very precise. <coughs> do, you, do you approve? This I can't see it. Just working still. I, I put your parts in there. Okay. What are you doing down there? Making sure you're working because you never do. This stuff just magically happens. It does. It's going to be way better. I think it was a, a socket. Like that? Yep. That's what we're going for. Bubbles are moving. It's definitely moving. Okay, bubble. It's in the middle right there. I like it. It's a lot more solid. She's good. It'll be wonderful. Our job here is done, my friend. It's up. We got her done today. It's all uh, wired and everything ready to go other than the tank. I gotta build a tank down here. We got the metal for it. It's gonna take us a whole day to build a tank. So it's gonna be seven feet long, four feet high, and two feet wide. And then it's gonna have a little jog in it to come around those beams right there. So custom build this tank to fit what I need. Should be 400 gallon-ish, something like that. That's what we were calculating. So that should, Fuel this thing for a couple of months at a time. Free heat, we like it. Thanks for watching.